I want to give you a live look now at the Seattle waterfront. A uh, short time ago, you missed a beautiful sky, but uh, I, I'm guessing that uh, our skies tonight are going to be kind of something to keep an eye out for. I mean, will they be tough to see tonight? Steve, we're looking at a bit of a mixed bag across the region tonight. In fact, many of us had a day that was absolutely gorgeous, but in some places, including off towards the east of Tacoma and along the Hood Canal, we didn't see that fog clear at all. And now the night is falling. We're seeing that fog moving back in once again. There's a live look for you from SeaTac. Meanwhile, off towards the north, out towards Everett, things are looking great out there. In fact, you can still see some light in the sky out there. It was a spectacular sunset tonight. More sunset potential for the next few days. I'll tell you the details on that in a moment, but along with mostly clear skies also comes cool temperatures. When you don't have a cloud deck in place to allow that heat that we generate during the day to stay in place, it just goes up and out into the atmosphere and it's doing that right now in many spots. 39 in Mount Vernon, 39 in Seattle, 39 down towards Chehalis, but other spots including out towards Hoke. I'm currently in the mid to upper 40s there. We've got some mid 40s off towards Victoria, British Columbia. Hello, Canada. And off towards the east, 22 currently in Winthrop under some clear skies there. So it's a good news and not so good news scenario. The good news is I'm not tracking any active weather. We've got a ridge of high pressure that is basically blocking anything from coming our way over the next few days, but it's going to create stagnation. In fact, we're going to have almost a complete and total lack of wind that will keep that fog in place, but also could create some air quality issues as we go into Sunday. It looks like Sunday through at least Thursday, we could have air stagnation in low lying areas, so including valleys and anywhere along the foothills. So everything you see in gray here has now been upgraded to an air stagnation advisory. It was an outlook yesterday, but now we're saying Sunday through at least Wednesday night. Please avoid outdoor burning or any smoke generation that isn't absolutely necessary. I know a lot of us depend on fireplaces for heat, though, so it's going to be a little bit of a mixed bag there. Use some common sense. You'll do just fine. Taking a look at forecasted winds. This is a big part of the story. Calm, 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 calm. As we go into early Sunday morning, just some slight offshore breezes down towards Hoquiam. And as we go through the day, normally what happens when you put sun on the surface of the earth, it heats and that pressure difference will allow some air to move around. But this is not going to be the case over the next few days. That high pressure is so strong that we're not going to see any air motion in the lower levels of the atmosphere for two, three, possibly four days. This is Wednesday morning at 9.30 a.m. and it's still calm. Again, just a light offshore breeze out towards Hoquiam, but looks like we're going to stay in this pattern for most of the week until at least Thursday when we're hoping that we can get a new system to come in and start generating some air once again. So it's good news and not so good news. It looks like we could see lots of great sunsets, but it looks like we could be looking at some air stagnation as well. Let's back up and see if we can see the big picture. So this is what high pressure does is it creates this dome that takes everything that comes in off the Pacific and takes it up and over us. Look, there's Vancouver Island. When's the last time you saw Vancouver Island? Now, there is some cloud cover out there. When the fog clears tomorrow, we will be looking at some mostly cloudy skies. Now, for every action, there is an equal and opposite reaction. That's Newton's third law of motion. And so what's happening right now is we are relatively calm and quiet. We've got active weather all across the Northeast and some very cold temperatures. The high tomorrow in Minneapolis is 10. The high in Atlanta tomorrow is 50. The high tomorrow in Tampa is 59. Take a look at radar right now. A whole lot of nothing going on. We just got some cloud cover on top of Mount Rainier and there's the last light. This is a live look from paradise right now. Looking fantastic there. It looks like the parking lots are clear and the snow is all packed away. We're going to see overnight temperatures touch down in the mid 30s tonight and then tomorrow it's going to be a battle of the fog versus the sun. I'm expecting most places to clear out around mid morning, but some stubborn spots may hold on to that fog all day long. Keep it tuned here and we'll keep you ahead of it.